so multiplying two matrices and storing it in a third matrix so in the previous programs we already discussed how to create a matrix how to accept the matrix how to display the matrix and how to display in a transpose way so how will you create a matrix first we have already given the number of okay so first we have given the rows and calls in the preprocessor directive which are fixed whereas here first we are accept, accepting the matrix as well as displaying the matrix then we are displaying the transpose so when whether you are accepting or displaying a transpose the skeleton which is two loops will be used the outer loop is used for number of rows whereas inner loop is used for number of columns where a of i j where i will tell you the row number and j will tell you the column number now let us proceed further by creating two more matrices and further are we clear so let us add here we are we want two more matrices are we clear so rows calls so we are creating a second matrix as well as we are creating a third matrix see rows calls this is what we have created three matrices so that we can multiply two matrices and we will store it in a third matrix okay so how you have accepted the order of the matrix similarly we will accept the order for second matrix which is r2 and c2 r2 and c2 are used for order of the second matrix r1 and c1 are the order of the first matrix so let us accept and display similar to first matrix what you have done. are we clear so now let us uh, same thing we repeat only difference is what we are changing the order of the matrix so please observe here first we have accepted the order of the first matrix now order of the matrix b you want to accept where r2 will accept the number of rows in second matrix and c2 will accept the number of columns in second matrix and similarly we in accept code r r2 and c2 so all the r1 and c1 is replaced with r2 and c2 whereas ampersand instead of ampersand e of ij we will write ampersand p of ij okay remaining everything will be same so we displaying the values of b matrix where the same thing we will change here r2 c2 and b so once we learn how to create accept display of one matrix we can easily write and uh, display the remaining matrices so this is about first matrix accept and first matrix display and second matrix accept about second matrix display now let us see the output then we will also okay, so we are removing this transpose display from the code so that we will have only normal matrix accept display only and we clear so let later we will substitute here. so we have written what accepting the first matrix and displaying the first matrix accepting the second matrix and displaying the second matrix okay so the code is almost same only difference r1 by c1 in first matrix r2 by c2 in second matrix so in the place of r1 and c1 we will have to replace r2 and c2 and in the place of matrix a we have to replace matrix b okay so now let us write a condition for matrix multiplication okay so before that let me check the output once so that you will have a clear clarity so let me check the output here so first we are entering 3 by 3 matrix so where we are entering 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is the first matrix so enter the order of the first matrix 3 by 3 and we are displaying the values of matrix which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 whereas we are displaying the second matrix accepting the second matrix order also uh, example 3 4 now similarly we will enter 1 2 3 
and we, we are displaying the second matrix. Are we clear? So let us check what is the condition for matrix multiplication. So what is the condition for matrix multiplication here? Very simple. Always the multiplication condition is what? Condition for multiplication. Always. Okay. So what, what to be checked? So the first matrix generally is what? R1 by C1. Are we clear? And the second matrix is R2 by C2. So always, whenever you want to multiply, the condition must be columns in the first matrix. If it is equals to rows in the second matrix, then matrix multiplication can be done. Are we clear? Now let us see here the same example what you have given just now. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the order of the first matrix, which is 3 by 3. 3 by 3. So the matrix uh, multiplication we are doing, which is 3 by 3. The first matrix order is what? 3 by 3. And we are accepting the second matrix order, which is 3 by 4. So what is happening here? If, the, if we have number of columns in the first matrix are equals to the number of rows in the second matrix, then it is. So we are entering three by three rows here. Okay. So 10, 10, 10. We are for easy understanding purpose, we are entering the values. Okay. So four columns we want. Okay. 10, 10, and 10. And here also 10. 10, 10, and 10. So what will happen? The 1, 2, 3 will be multiplied with this, with this, with this, and with this. So that's why we are checking the condition is what? Number of columns in the first matrix, if it is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. So the same condition we will write here. Okay. So the matrix multiplication condition is what? The number of columns and number of rows must be equal. Okay, so let us try. If are we clear? So what is the condition? P two, okay, P one is equals to R two. This is the condition for matrix multiplication. If this condition is true, we are able to perform matrix multiplication. Otherwise, we cannot perform matrix multiplication. Are we clear? So as we see in the example the number of rows in the first matrix will be the outer loop and the number of columns in the second matrix will be the inner loop. And whereas how many number of multiplication we want to do, that is the third loop. So we use three loops in matrix multiplication. First loop will tell you about, okay. So we will write three loops here. Loop one, rows of first matrix. Loop two, calls of second matrix. And loop three, the number of multiplications, number of elements multiplied are written per each iteration. So how many number of multiplication will be done for each iteration, which is C1 by R, okay? So what will be the resultant matrix? We know already the resultant matrix is what? R1 by C2. R1 by C2 will be the resultant matrix. So always the resultant matrix is R1 by C2 will be the resultant matrix. Clear? Now let us calculate here. Okay. So as per the multiplication, first let us write. For the outer loop is what? I is equal to 0. I less than the number of rows in the first matrix. So the number of rows in the first matrix, I plus 2. Are we clear? Next, we will write an outer loop, which is number of columns in the second matrix. For j is equal to 0, j less than, uh, j less than C2, j 
Are we clear? So this is about the outer loop, first loop and second loop. So this is what number of rows, and this is what number of columns. Now the la one more important loop is what for k is equals to zero, k less than. The condition is what either c one or r two. Anything you can write. So r two k plus two. And here we write the important statement. So before multiplying, always the whenever you are multiplying, always the value should be initialized to zero before you take multiplication. So the important step is what c of i j is equal to c of i c of j. Okay. Plus a of i, a of k into b of k and b of b of. So the most important statements of matrix multiplication is what c of i j is equal to c of i j plus a of i k into b of k. So this is not should be, this should not be by heart at least. Let us prove it how it is getting work. Are we clear? With a clear example, let us prove. So this is a simple code. Which will run matrix multiplication. Are we clear? So the outer loop we are telling what for what number of rows. Next loop is number of columns and number of elements multiplied for each iteration. Okay, so this is a simple code. If the condition is false. We'll say that else. Print up multiplication cannot be done due to mismatch of or are we clear? That is about the else block. So this is about the if block. So this is a code which we will write for matrix multiplication. Are we clear? So, what is the condition you are writing? Number of calls of first matrix equals to rows of second. The number of columns in the first matrix, if it is equals to the number of rows in second matrix, then multiplication can be. Yeah. Are we clear? And after the multiplication, we will display the output. Now let us see the here what is happening in with the detailed example. Of course, the code is available in every way, but let us see scanning way how the multiplication is done. Are we clear? So please look the code very easily, observe the code, and understand. Are we clear? So here we are telling the i value, j value, and k. Value. Okay, so initially the i value is what zero. Okay, we will enter into the loop. Then the j value is zero. Then we will enter into the loop. Then k value is what zero. Then we will enter into the loop, and we will perform the third matrix. Okay, so initially the garbage will be there. Are we clear? So it is checking the condition first. Three equals to three, and the resultant matrix is what three by four. So three by Four will be the resultant matrix. So how will you do? So initially, they will have some garbage values. Are we clear? Are we clear? So this will be the resultant matrix, and initially you have garbage values. So that's why in the code we are writing first c of i j is equals to z. This statement will be executed. Okay. So initially c of i j is equals to zero. That is the line number one. What we have. Yeah. Are we clear? So let us scan 
Okay, let us scan with the Okay, now let us scan both of them. Okay, so I am showing both the matrix. So let me close all these. Uh, yeah, now this is what we are scan. So please observe what is happening in the right hand side we have a code and left hand side we have the matrix multiplication right hand side we have a matrix multiplication code and left hand side we are doing the scan so the first instruction which is executed was c of ij is equal to 0 that is i value 0 j value 0 and k value 0 c of 0 0 will be 0 now what is happening now please execute this important statement this statement k of i k into b of k g. So what will happen? Okay, so one. Okay, so here we will mention one into ten. So what is one a of zero zero into what is ten b of zero zero plus will be done. So a of zero zero one into b of zero zero ten will be multiplied and it will be added to the 0, which is 0 plus this will happen. So this is our first iteration. So what will be the answer? 10 will be stored in the location. Are we clear? So 10 will be stored. OK. Now what will happen? k value will become 1. k value will become 1. Next, what will happen? a of 0, 1 into b of 0 2 that is 2 into 20 that is c of ij plus okay so c of ij plus okay a of 0 1 which is 2 into b of 1 0 so if you observe the first matrix is read in normal way whereas in the second matrix we are reading in a transpose way first matrix in the normal way, second matrix we are displaying in a transpose way. So 2 into 10 will be multiplied. So A of 0, 1 into B of 1, 0, and which will be added to total value 20. Are we clear? So that is about your second iteration. Then K value will become 2. Now what will happen? A of 0, 2 into B of 2, 0. A of 0, 2 into B of 2, 0 will be multiplied. That is C of ij plus E of ij plus A of 0, 1 is what? Sorry, A of 0, 2 is what? 3 into B of, okay, B of 2, 0 is what? Ah, B of 2, 0 is 10. So 3 into 10, 30, and 30 will be added to 20, which is 50, which is the first element multiplication is completed. Now then, k value will become 4. The inner loop will be exit. Okay, And when you come to outer loop, automatically j value will change. j value will change to 1. 1 less than. Okay, Then once again, the k loop will start once again. Are we clear? So once again, what is 2? Once again, k value will become to 0. So once again, the story will repeat. Are we clear? So be listen this very carefully. So what will happen in the second iteration? So re please read the code and substitute in order to understand. So first, A of IK into B of KJ. So what is IK? 0, 0. And KJ? 0, 1. What is 0, 0? That means what? A of 1. A of 1. This is A of 0, 1, 0, 0 is what? 1 into this element should be multiplied. What is that? This is what? This element is what? 1, 0. This element is what? 0, 0. Are we clear? 
so please substitute the code a of 1 a of 0 0 into b of a so this code you can write it here this is an important code which to be written very very carefully are we clear so what is happening here so if you substitute it here that will be more understandable so a of 0 0 into b of 1 0 will be multiplied a of 0 0 into b of 0 1 0 1 will be multiplied so please see the code and substitute see the code and substitute a of 0 0 into b of 0 1 and we get which is nothing but first this will be initialized to 0 then it will be done. so what is happening 1 into 10 okay so 0 plus 1 into 10 will be performed then k value will become what 1 once k value will become what 1 here what is happening 0 and j value is what okay so we are updating c of 0 1 value okay so now j value will be increased to 1 now what will happen this 0 in 0 plus 1 into 10 will become what now with k value will be incremented to 1 now once again substitute here ah uh, so what is a of i 0 only what is a of k a of k will be 1 and what is b of k j correct b of 1 1 that is what a of 0 1 2 into b of 1 1 which is 10 so this element and this element will be multiplied are we clear so 2 into 10 will be multiplied are we clear so which will become 2 are we clear now k value will reach to 2 now listen this once again just we are substituting the values now what should be happening this one a of 0 to into this one okay so a of ik into p of kj that is a of 0 2 into b of 2 0 2 a of 0 2 is 3 and b of 2 1 should be changed to 2 1 2 okay so what is a of 0 2 3 okay so 3 into 10 will be multiplied which will become 60 now j k value will become 3 and you will come out of the loop now we will go to we will repeat one more last step okay so once again what will happen okay so once again what will happen this k value will become 4 and the condition will become false then j value will become 2 okay and once again the k will be initialized to 0 okay so now we will repeat the one more last step. are we clear zeros and four columns i think right so this will be c f l t c g g are we clear now one more uh, two steps we will try to complete fast and we will wind up this are we clear so this is how we will do matrix multiplication we will quickly do it fast so 1 into 10 okay 1 into 10 plus 2 into 10 20 30 and all the values will reach to 60 only are we clear so 60 you'll get and here also you'll get 60 and here also you'll get 60 are we clear like this we will repeat matrix multiplication so only thing what you have to do is take a piece of code and substitute the i j k values so that you will understand what is happening so i will tell you the row number and j will tell you the column number so of first matrix and second matrix and please keep a example and try to scan you will understand matrix one so very important point is what 
the first matrix we are reading in normal way whereas second matrix we are reading in a transpose way. clear so which will tell clearly about matrix multiplication okay now let us uh, substitute and run the code okay and also display the second matrix fast so after that we are want to display this code okay so while you see c matrix so what will the resultant matrix r1 by c2 so r1 c2 and here c of ij c of ij will be displayed are we clear and make sure that uh, the all the i values should be initialized again let us save the program and also try to declare the temporary variable which will the most frequent error okay now oh, please go through the multiplication here are we clear now we see here the first matrix order what i am taking is 3 by 3 which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. are we clear now the second matrix what i want to take is 3 by 4 i want to take same example 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 